Let us pray. What? What is that prayer? Let's find out. When our Lord Jesus Christ was with his disciples, he turned to them and he said, when you pray, pray like this. And he gave them a pattern by which we should all pray. It is what is known as the Our Father, Haid Mer in Armenian. I want to go through that. Let's look at what that prayer is about, why it's so special, and why it's the first prayer of each and every Christian. We say Haid Mer Borher Ginesias. We're saying Our Father who art in heaven. Sur Piagetsi Anunko. May your name be holy. So right off the bat in this prayer, we're, we're recognizing that there's something greater than ourselves. We've left ourselves, we've left ego behind, and we're saying there's something greater than ourselves that is worth praying to and worth worshiping. Our Father who is in heaven, may your name be holy. Hallowed be thy name. Yegitsi arkayutunko, yegitsin gamko vorbes herginus yevergri. May your kingdom come, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Think about that for a moment. May your kingdom come. It's not about something that's going to come in the future, but right now. Jesus instructs us to ask for that kingdom that is in heaven to come and take place in our lives today. Well, isn't that what Christ was all about when he first came to this, to, to our earth? It was the shepherds who heard the singing saying, peace on earth, good will towards men. That is the will of the Father. And so we say, may your will be done. May your kingdom come right now. And that kingdom includes his will, which is for us to love, for us to be in harmony and in peace with one another. Give us today our daily bread. What are we saying? We're saying we have some basic needs. God be with us. Take care of our needs because there's so many more important things that we're involved in, namely in bringing that kingdom into our lives, allowing that kingdom into our lives. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. So we're asking God, please forgive us our sins. Forgive us our debts. Forgive us whatever we may have done wrong. But we're putting a condition on it. As we forgive those who have trespassed against us. Jesus instructs us, if we want God's forgiveness, first, we need to get along with our world. We need to forgive one another. So in the prayer, we're asking for that forgiveness, but we're also recognizing our responsibility to others. Do not lead us into temptation. But deliver us from evil. There's so many temptations. There's so much evil in the world. Please, be a guard. Be with me. Now, what does this mean? We're not asking God to swoop down as a superman from the sky. We're asking that we are awake to the temptations, to the problems all around us. And so that in that awakened state, we can see that we need to stay away from those temptations. We need to be delivered from that evil. This is the final moment. We're saying in all these things, we recognize you're in heaven. We've asked for the daily bread. We've asked for forgiveness. And we've asked for the very special power to be delivered from evil. And now we're recognizing that in this prayer, we're asking the person who, des who deserves all of the glory, the, the power, forever and ever. In other words, the one who is from the beginning, the Creator Almighty. We're asking our Father in heaven to be with us 
and we are stamping it by saying that we believe this. And this is the last portion of this beautiful prayer because we're saying, Our Father, you're in heaven. We recognize this. Give us today our daily bread. We want your kingdom to come. Please deliver us from evil. Also, allow us to forgive other people. But who's the power? What's the power that enables us to do this? Well, it's you. Something greater than ourselves. And so we recognizing, we recognize that by making the sign of the cross. For to you is befitting glory, dominion, and honor, now and always, to the end of the ages. Amen. That's the higher man. That's the Our Father taught to us by Jesus Christ.